Hello, popcorn junkies. Look who I've got. Hello. Hey, so it's the original. She's one of the original, the OG popcorn, the OG TPJ. I've got some enamel badges coming, you know, for popcorn junkies, members of the Instagram account. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. So, um, not to wear, but to stab each other. That's what we used to do. I think it's fair to say you were probably one of the biggest advocates and fans of Joker. Yeah, I was telling my boyfriend last night who I wasn't with when the first one came. Wow, that's right. And I was like, pre-warning, I completely lost myself like a good two months after the first Joker. So that might happen again. It's funny, you know, because last night uh, I stayed up late and as every, most normal people went to bed. And I, I've obviously seen the trailer, you've seen my reaction. As we went to bed, <laughs> your mum got me and she went, Mark, prepare yourself, you know, I mean, if it's, you're maddie. Mom was, so lost genuinely, Maddie. Mom was so genuinely <laughs> worried about me when, when like we all were. Came it came, I think it also came at a dark moment. It was five years ago. Wow, that's crazy. That is great, yeah, great. Yeah. yeah, Todd Phillips was on stage, the director, saying, um, you know, in that time we've had, uh, you know, pandemic, we've had, you yeah. know, a writer's strike. I mean, the world oh, has that's changed. That's so weird. In my mind, like, I knew it was 2019, but in my mind it had happened after... Covid or like around that time, not not before. Not I totally pre, agree. Not pre the no. the pad. So going into this, what do you know about it so far? What have you heard that perhaps well, strikes an alarm? To be honest, I've not heard. actually heard that much about it, other than the fact that like the kind of concerns around it being t like like a musical. Exactly. Like, I mean, the thing is, I love Lady Gaga, and I feel like like she, I think she's a really good actress, and anybody that kind of says anything different is just being a bit difficult because she's a singer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but. I guess, although I love her as an actress, that's my worry, her coming into it, that it's just going to switch up the vibe too much. Exactly. I think if I, have, um, if I had a concern or have a concern, it's the hearing it's going to be a jukebox musical, which basically means they take classic songs and twist them into their story. A good example of that is Moulin Rouge, where it could right, be. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Mamma Mia is the best in my mind. But, yeah. <laughs> but I still, I don't know. I know. Like, like as... Is he like breaking into sing song? No, I don't want to spoil it. Well, look, look, look okay. I, I've seen it. You know what I think. Um, I've done a strong reaction to it, and I've had, I went into this an absolute naysayer. I was absolutely, I felt bleak last night going into into this. So let's see, let's see if this manages to it's have dead. the same effect on you that it had on me. It already looks beautiful. <laughs> We've just got the screenshot up. So here we go. This is Joker Folie Adieu, which of course is a, a medical phrase or a mental description of two minds that are going mad together. It's not a beautiful kind of concept, typically French, isn't it? Um, and I always said from the get-go, many months ago, that I could only get on board with this if music was there in some kind of music therapy sort of fashion yeah. anyway. So okay. should we check it out? Yeah. So excited because I know how important it is to her. Okay. Jay Flack, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I've never done anything with my life like you have. Oh my god. 
I got tearful. I feel bad for ever doubting it. How could we have doubted those bastard creatives? Wow, that looks so good. So a few things that I was relieved about. No breaking out into song in the most obvious fashion. Yeah, it does look like a kind of music therapy. It does, doesn't yeah. it? It's like an articulation of their inner mouth. It's interesting mass. that they've gone for... Because originally Harley Quinn was always the psychiatrist. Well, this is what we... Nah, now, this is interesting you should say that. She looked like a patient. Yeah. Here's a thought. And I wonder, and I've had this thought since my early reaction. Oh, is it all in his mind? Ah, it's and is she the one in control of him? Oh, yeah. And I tell you what I was reminded of is his vulnerability. Yeah, so vulnerable. I mean, he's a psychopath and he's a murderer. Yeah. But he's No, but that's why, that's why Joker was so incredible, because it's like the yeah. whole film is building up to what he becomes. Yeah, yeah. And by the end of it, you're just like, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. He, you know, um... Looks amazing. He looks, I mean, so I, skinny. he looks even skinnier than he did in the last one. And I'm getting worried about him. Apparently, you can you can you can induce diabetes if you do that too often. I thought the look of it was great. I thought she looked sensationally underplaying it. That moment, yeah, yeah, does she that. looks great. She looks great. I mean, she she is. My worry was that when it was first said that she was going to be mm. Harley Quinn, I was like, yeah, that makes sense because Lady Gaga pretty much is like <laughs> Harley Quinn anyway. I know what you mean. But then because of that, I was worried because I was like, yeah, I just didn't know if it was going to be really melodramatic which is quite easy to do with Harley I mean Margot Robbie kind of ended up doing it a bit and it got a bit annoying. it became a bit one note but she, yeah she looks like layered and well what they look like they've done with her actually it's a really good point you've made they've almost stripped her right back, a bit like a star is born actually they've stripped her right back to a sensual yeah. emotion or sort of yeah because I think because she's always been mm. and has become even more over time like such a characterization that she kind of doesn't yeah have because I feel like Harley Quinn's character is one that should move you like a lot like you know she had yeah. a shit time yeah but she's always been too characterized to really kind of feel any depth with her yeah. but it looks like there's going to be some of that in this i've got a horrible feeling that not only are you gonna... soon oh no that's the american version oh. it's the fourth of october i thought yeah oh, Te... no what? that was like in I a was day like, that's it <laughs> that's today yeah no exactly no fourth of the you know how they do it back to front the final point, awesome. final point though, I mean, like you said, you went deep into the last one. You're, you know, I've got a food, this is a, this is a dark romance. This is a bad romance. Yeah. And I think for couples, this is going to be an interesting <laughs> film to watch with your boyfriend and perhaps lose both of yourselves forever. <laughs> I just think oh, it looks God. really, I got really emotional. That's the third time yeah. I've seen it now and it gets better each time I see it. Yeah. And then I saw, I did end up seeing the clip last night on my For You page of one of him just laughing oh my God. in the... Just watching that clip, I was like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> as, as I was watching it with Paddy, and I was like, watch out. We're, we're about to enter I'm gonna turbulence. Lose my, I'm going to lose myself in October. <laughs> so you look, it hasn't disappointed? No, not at all. There you go.